or my family. Okay. <laughs> Keenan, tell me more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We just need to have Brock come serenade us with a guitar. Can you hear my hair when it hits the mic? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, maybe I should move this. Sounds great. Maybe I'll put it... Next to your other hair? <laughs> is that better? It's in the middle. So, oh, that is next to my other hair. Yeah. Good. The middle is like right above the human gourmet. That's a lot of touching from... Gosh. You know what? I'm going to have to just get rid of this apron. Maybe we should uh, invest in different microphones. Maybe I... <laughs> maybe. Okay. If I do this... Is that better? I can't tell because you're still in the <laughs> You're like, if you can... Is this better? If you can, if you can hold still. What happens if I lick it? <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay, I just can't. Can you place a brush on the middle of your uh, yes. papers? Can you make it not roll? <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, that's a crisp picture. Okay. Okay. We're live. Okay. Hello. Hi, everybody. We got Wendy, Susan, Debbie, Christine, Beth. 18 watching on YouTube. Woo! Hello, YouTube. I feel bad because I can never see them as I'm. But yeah. you're their spokesperson, Keenan. I'm not reading, so that's really hard for me too. Keenan, you do a good job reading. Thank you. We got Lucy and Danielle, Sally. Ooh, Wisconsin. <laughs> Demetra is in Wisconsin. That's got to be freezing. Faye, hello Faye. Snowy Washington, nice. I don't know if Taylor, Snowy is a place. Taylor, Kathy, Susan from Michigan. Oh. First time live from Nancy on YouTube. <gasps> Nancy, welcome. So glad you can join us this Friday night. Da, da, da. Elizabeth, Raven, Raven, Raven. I love you so much. We got Lori. Patty from Florida. Somebody sent us oranges from Florida and they are so good. They are literally my favorite. They are literally, is that from Parks and Rec? It is. Yeah. <laughs> I've been snacking on them all day. They are so good. Carrie from Southern California. Helen, snow, I'm not gonna try and say that, Helen, I'm sorry. Boston. Pens Pennsylvania. Carney, uh, Missouri. Katie, it's her first live, but she's still at work, so she can't paint. You can watch it later, paint later. I watched the tutorial and looking at my leftover paints, yellow ochre or dandelion yellow. We're using a new yellow, deep yellow, but you can use. As opposed to shallow yellow? <laughs> yeah, like shallow yellow, no. <laughs> uh, I would use dandelion yellow <clears throat> between those two. Sea blue or azure blue? Ooh, I would do azure blue, but sea blue would be really pretty. Duh, duh, duh. We got Bend, Oregon. <sighs> St. Louis, Missouri. I really wish we had pump up music, Keenan. I wish we could do it. Listen, I told you, Brock should be here playing the guitar. Brock needs to be here playing the t guitar. He does. Katarina. Hello, Katarina. Welcome. Okay, Patty says, what color paint if we haven't gotten our boxes yet? First of all, I know some of you don't have your boxes yet, and I am so, so terribly sorry. I am. We, we pushed off the live as far as we could, but if we pushed it off any more, then it would literally affect, like, every week for the rest of the year since we release projects every week. So 
we pushed it off as long as we could and if you don't have your box once you get it you can come back and watch it totally understandable but if you don't have your box but do have some supplies we're using like a blue a purple a pink and a yellow so if you have those four colors you can paint along with us or even whatever random colors you have jellyfish are like all of the different colors oh yeah so you can totally do it oh sarah got her box today yay exciting snow mageddon oh, Helen. <laughs> I, she put snow mageddon as one word and i thought that was the city that she was saying she was from and i'm like i'm not Washington. even gonna try and pronounce that <laughs> She, she spaced it out for me. Oh, <laughs> Thank <that's> you. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Nicole asked if there is something to trace for this project. There isn't. This is all freehand. All us. Oh, Laura, welcome, Laura. Joy, welcome, Joy. So glad you guys are here. I will have a painting partner tonight. She's on her way. Hopefully. She's just putting a small child to bed. She's putting her baby boy to bed. So she's gonna be here probably right when we start. Oh. Connie from Los Angeles says it's her first live as well because she's usually at work on Tuesdays. Connie, I'm so glad you can join us this Friday night. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In fact, I'm glad all of you guys are here. Thank you for being my Friday night date. It's yeah, kind of fun. That is fun. It is, I have a good time every time. I have my hand warmer. <laughs> Smart. Because <laughs> it's cold here. Uh, uh. Lori from St. Louis. Da, da, da. Christine from San Diego. Hello, Hope. What time are we at, Keenan? We're at 7 Eleven, one of my favorite gas oh. stations. Drea's got to hurry up. She said 7 10. I know. Oh, dear. Come on, girl. You have four minutes. Susan says they're supposed to get snow on Monday. It's just constant snow here. It's just cold. My kids have had so many snow days. Like. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what uh, is going on. There's ice everywhere too. I almost hit the curb. Well, you need to now. get a car that works for Missouri. Keenan, you've lived here like all of your I'm life. You should know this better. <laughs> Maria says hello from Brazil. Oh, hello, Brazil. But it's cold there. Construction, Sally said, construction must only be during the day. You are right, Sally. It's so true, Sally. <laughs> Those construction workers are at home right now. Uh. Oh no, Faye said she's had no power for 32 hours and it was 13 outside. Faye, I hope you're okay. Sarah asked where we are. We are in a little town called Hamilton in Missouri. Don't know if you've heard of it. Probably not, unless you're into quilting. Go ahead and Google it. <laughs> Go ahead and Google it. <laughs> it's like an hour north of Kansas City. Uh, da, 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 da. We're getting close to starting. Three minutes. Three minutes. Do you remember when the good old days when we played music and I would just like sing and dance? Do you remember the one time we put on Queen? There were like four people here that night. Bohemian Rhapsody. I was having a blast, yeah. but I think the people watching were like, calm down. I remember reading one comment that was like, enough already. <laughs> just, just quit. They're like, please stop. <laughs> I came to paint. I just want to paint. Yeah, we have lots of new people tonight. I'm so glad you're here. Almost there. Drea texts me. Nice. She's watching on the road. That's not safe. <laughs> Aloha from Big Island, Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Hello. I get to go there this July. That's great. I know. Good for you, Keenan. Thank you. I'm excited. <laughs> and I'll be getting paid to go. Why? Because I, uh, it's for the military. It's for oh, the <laughs> I'm it's like, you work for us. Yeah. Why are we paying you to go That's to Hawaii? Really <laughs> said, you know what? Just They're like, you Hawaii. know what? Go to Hawaii, get some footage. 
We're going to put it in the background while Sarah's doing her tutorials. <laughs> August is just going to be footage of Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Suzanne? Hi, Suzanne. Oh, hi, Suzanne. Oh, hi, Suzanne. We know you. Gosh, gosh. Sierra Vista, Arizona. My mom is from Sierra Vista, Arizona. What? Which is, it's a sm really small town in Arizona. Rachel, do you know my mother? <laughs> Her name is Karen Gray. Let's see what she says. That'd be interesting. It would be interesting. Okay, are we at 7.15? We're at 7.15. All right, I think we should just start. She'll be here soon. Drea, you know what? We have a guest. She'll sit here. <laughs> She's coming. Her name's Drea. Uh, we'll just get started, and she'll just join in, and it will be great. Okay. Welcome, everybody, to Let's Make Art. I'm so glad you are here to paint with me tonight. We are painting the jellyfish. Ah, ah, ah. Super fun project. I've been seeing you guys post them and they look great. This project is like all about the wet and wet technique. Super fun. Um, I know that some of you guys don't have your boxes yet and I'm so sorry about that. We, we really, <laughs> I really feared. <gasps> Drea's here. Hi, Hi Drea. <laughs> Come sit. Okay. So the boxes, um, so sorry that they're not there. If you don't have your box, but you do have some paint supplies, we're just using a blue, a purple, a pink, and a yellow. So those are our four colors. But jellyfish are, there's so many different kinds and all these things, so you can use whatever colors you have. Um, and we already have taken measures where March is going smooth. Yes. March, March will be great. So just hang on there with us. Um, this is the first project from the kit. It's the very first one. And there will be four that we will do the rest, three other ones that we do the rest of the month. This is Drea. Where are we looking? Right here. There. <laughs> we only look at one camera? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Should I do over? Yeah. Wherever. Yeah, so you can be in it. Let's cozy up, Drea. Okay. Let's cozy up. I'm it's straddling cold. this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. And we have Keenan, who's doing camera stuff. I'm back here. My microphone just died. Oh, his microphone just died, but he'll be telling me where to yeah. look and trying to ask questions we'll if his mic we'll comes back alive. Hours. Isn't that your job? Listen. <laughs> Isn't that your job to they make sure our batteries are, are right? Get all of them needed new batteries <laughs> at the same time. Okay, so we are using two brushes. We are using a round six and a round two. These are our standard brushes that we use. Um, so uh, buy these if you are interested in painting our projects because these are the two brushes we use for everything. You can get them on our website, letsmakeart.com. Um, they're really great, I love them very much. And our, the actual colors that we are using tonight are um, amethyst and pink and deep yellow and Tahoe blue. So those are the four colors. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need. What are the hot hands for? The hot hands are to keep our hands warm. Oh. Because it's cold <laughs> back here. Do you need one? Do you need some? Because we have like a billion packets. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with some warm-ups. Now, I like to do my warm-ups with my round six just to get used to it. Now, we are basically doing a ton of wet-on-wet -wet techniques in this uh, tutorial for this jellyfish. So basically that just means we wet a surface either with water or paint and then we drop something that is wet on that wet surface. That's all it is. So um, we're going to start by practicing that. So I want you to dip your six in your water and then I want you to hit it off the side a couple of times because if you go straight from like paintbrush to the paper without hitting off the side, too much water. You don't want that much water. So you grab it, you hit it off the side, and you can just make any shape. I'm going to do a heart because it's almost Valentine's Day. And it's fun. And it's fun. Hearts are fun. Hearts are fun. Am I filling it in? Yeah, fill it in. So whatever shape you decide to make, fill it in. The hard thing with water is you kind of have to like look at it from the side to see where you actually painted it since water is clear. 
And then I want you to pick up some color and just go along the edge of whatever shape you made and just kind of let that watercolor do its thing in the water. Just let it, let it be. So this is a great thing about watercolor is it has a mind of its own. It's gonna wanna move and create textures and do all of these things and you have to let it. You don't wanna control it too much because if you let it do its thing, it's gonna come up with some interesting things on its own. And just to, um, to show you, like this was me just touching it to the edge and then letting it move on its own. But if I took my brush and I went back and forth across this entire thing, all that really cool texture and all that stuff I got totally evened out. And there's nothing wrong with that, but with this project, we really want to embrace the different textures that you are going to get from letting that water and paint do its thing. So I want you to just do that a couple of times. And the really fun thing that I also want you to do, so let's say we did this, I want you to do a shape next to it and kind of let it just touch the shape that's already there. And you'll see that when there's like a lot of paint or something build up and you touch water to it, all of that color is gonna shoot where that water goes, which is a really cool effect. And you can play with that as you paint. So as we add tentacles, you'll see as we add our arms and our tentacles to this, where they're gonna touch and the colors are gonna bleed that's and they're cool. gonna run into each other, but we embrace that and we think that's really awesome. Okay. The other thing I want us to practice really quick is we are going to practice the like oral arms really quick. That's what these are. Did you know that? I had to Google it. Oh. <laughs> you should have just rolled with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I oh, obviously know all the parts of a jellyfish. I've known that for years. I love it. <laughs> okay, so to do this, we are going to use our six and we're gonna make like kind of a ribbon shaped. So it's gonna be kind of wavy like this. And there are some parts are gonna be thick and thin, but you just kind of wanna wave it because you have to think jellyfish are in the water. So the waves are kind of making it move. And then almost immediately, you are gonna to wanna to grab your two, pick up some color. So I switched to my smaller brush and then going against one edge of this ribbon, I'm doing these little like scalloped edge. So it's going up, down, up, down, up, down. And again, you kind of have to like, it's hard to see. So you kind of have to like look at it from the side. Now you can see here that at this point, my water has dried so much that it's no longer spreading. Mm -hmm. And if that happens, not a big deal. You just re-wet the area. So I'm just going to re-wet that, grab some more paint, and then do that kind of ribbon edge. Just like so. And there's our little octopus arm. What'd you call it? Oral arm. Or, how do you spell that? Is Oral like, like mouth, like oh, O-R-A-L. Oh, because they mouth. Because they take it and they, they grab the food with these pieces and they bring them to them. Similar to Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's like when you're eating Thanksgiving <laughs> and you're just like, arms. these are my oral arm and you grab all just the food and you're just like. all the food you can reach. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, super fun technique. And then while it's still wet, if you want to, you can drop in other colors and just let them spread, let them do their thing. You'll see, it's gonna be super fun. Okay. Now the one last other thing we are going to practice, well actually we'll practice two more things. We're gonna practice our tentacles. And these are the tentacles, these like long skinny things here that are on the side. This is what they use to like trap their food and um, like, I think they're poisoned. The yeah, yeah. They're like, oh. yeah, it's a been, and then they I've eat it. I've been shocked. Me too. Stung. Yeah. Stung. Me too. And my mom put meat tenderizer. Meat tenderizer? Yeah, it like soothes it. Did it? No. <laughs> <laughs> did that actually work? It did. I think it's from a, like a treatment from the 70s. I don't really know. <laughs> I, my mom put sand on it. Oh, did that help? I don't remember. I think I was like seven, I don't know. Plot twist, nothing helps. <laughs> Plot twist doesn't Wait, work. I've heard one thing helps. Yeah. From Friends? Can we say it? Yeah. No, we're not going to say it. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to know Watch Friends. Watch Friends. You'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. 
moving on, sorry, moving on. Okay, so we're gonna do our tentacles and these are basically just long, thin lines. So we're gonna wanna use our round two for them. And I just want you to practice doing these kind of long lines that are thin. So you're gonna use your two. And then you're just going to, I just want you to practice doing like, like just, and just a soft wave. And so I like to go from top to bottom, but if you like to go from bottom to top, nothing wrong with that. You wanna hold your brush more vertical. That's how you're gonna get on the point of your brush. So you can get a thinner line by holding the point. And you wanna make sure that you don't have too much water and paint on your brush. If you have too much, like if you load up your brush with paint and then you try and do a thin line, it's not as thin as it can be if you kind of like, I usually like to pick up paint or water and then switch, like swoosh my brush back and forth on my palette to get rid of the excess. And then it also kind of creates a point on my brush. Do you see that? Kind of like do. squeezes the bristles together to get a point. And then you're just going to get, so I was able to get a super thin line like that as opposed to that, just by whooshing my brush back and forth and forcing it into a point. Yeah, very nice. Just like that. Okay. And this is different. Remember like on the florals, you have us not move our wrist? Yes. Is that different? So on this, um, usually whenever I do thin lines, especially if they're longer, I don't like to plant my wrist. Because if I plant my wrist and I try and do like the wavy thin line, like I don't have as much control. Okay. So you see how like I'm kind of like forcing it where, so you want to keep your arm lifted and you want to actually draw the line using your whole arm and not your wrist. So you're going to kind of like just slightly graze your wrist on your palate. So the, so the movement is coming from your shoulder. Keenan's in the back, like <laughs> he's like doing these like wrist. Uh, <laughs> he's like dance moves. Is that, is that a robot? I don't know. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and so you're going to actually use your arm and you can do it going horizontal, but for me, I have way more control if I move with my arm. I can go as long as I need to go than if I planted my wrist and tried to do it that way. Because I'm very limited if you plant your wrist as how long it can be. It's like kind of counterintuitive though, because like, you think that you have so much motion yeah. on your wrist. Mm -hmm. but it is counterintuitive. Doing both now, I see that moving using your shoulder is way easier. Yeah, and actually I remember one of my art teachers, he said that like when you're drawing basic shapes, it's way more accurate if you use your arm instead of your wrist. So when you do circles, you don't want to like plant your wrist and try and do a circle. You want to use your arm to do the circle and it tends to be more accurate. Okay, fabulous. I think we're ready to do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Can we do the oath still? We haven't done the oath yet. Good job, Dre. For reminding me but first I'm going to tell you the steps so the very first step is we are going to do the bell shaped body of the jellyfish now this is freehand there's no outline and that is okay that might stress you out but jellyfish are all different sizes and they're like mushroom top has like different shapes because they're constantly mm -hmm. moving in the water there it is Dre if you can do this with me actually they're always in motion yeah like that <laughs> So, so don't stress about the shape of the top because it's there somewhere. And then step two, we are going to do the oral arms. And step three, we're going to do the tentacles. So we're gonna repeat that twice and then we are going to do the splatters. That's our very last step. So there's just four steps to this. You guys got it. Laura says, ready, let's jam. Cause it's jellyfish, <laughs> jam and jelly. Jamfish. <laughs> uh, okay. So, oh yeah, if you're painting with your brushes and you're not sh sure what to do with them, don't leave them in the water. If you're not using your brush, just even if there's paint on it, just leave it in on your paper towel and then rinse them at the end. Your bristles will get bent if you leave your brushes in the water for a long time. So, okay. don't do it. Pro tip. I Pro tip. I forget. Don't, well, you would remember. Okay. That's true. Oh, we got to do our oath. Oh, yeah. So uh, raise your right hand and repeat after me. 
I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise not to compare my work. I promise not, I promise to, not to compare, to compare my, work. my work. And I promise to have fun. And I promise, and to, I promise to have fun. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, you guys. And I like to start that way because uh, that's what we do with art. We just compare and we're just like, is mine better? Is theirs better? And then that really just sucks the joy out of it because that's not what it's about. I know I'm not the best watercolorist out there and that's okay. That's not our goal here. Our goal is to have fun and you'll probably learn some stuff. And if you practice more and more, you will get better. And it's just not fair to compare yourself if you're just beginning to someone who's been doing it for years. That's just not a fair thing to do. So don't do that because you're just setting yourself up for failure. So let's start. I am using my round six, so my larger brush, and I'm gonna do the body and I'm gonna start with my right jellyfish. And the colors I'm gonna use with this one are the blue and the purple and the pink. So I'm gonna stay within that kind of color zone. And I'm going to uh, draw the body using just water and fill it in and then I'm going to drop in the color similar to what we did with our warm-up. So, sorry I had a drop of water. Okay, and then I'm taking my brush, hitting it off the side, and then on the right hand side I'm doing my jellyfish top shape. Now the nice thing about this water technique is you can draw it and then you can change it and it doesn't matter because it's with water so you can't even tell. Okay, so I got my wet. And then I'm gonna take my blue and I'm just gonna go along the edge and I'm just gonna let that move. Oh my God, that's so cool. It's, it's like the best part about watercolor. I'm gonna go along the bottom here too. Now, sometimes this does take practice. If you have too much water on your paper that it's kind of a puddle, and when you, when you drop in the color, it's just gonna stay there, kind of like what happened here. You can see that this didn't spread very well, and that's because I have a lot of water built up in that corner. If you have too much water built up in a corner, what you can do is you can take your paper towel and you can just suck up that extra water if you, if you need to or if it doesn't bother you, that's totally fine. You just have to wait a little bit longer for it to dry. So here's the shape of my, I'm gonna like adjust the shape a little bit, which we can do, it's not a big deal. And I also wanna introduce some purple. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of purple and kind of drop it in here with my blue. Now, if you drop in a color and it just stays there, which happens sometimes because the water and the paint have a mind of their own and sometimes they don't feel like moving. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just take my brush and kind of move the paint around a little bit and spread it myself. But I don't want to overwork it too much because then I'm gonna lose the super cool accidental textures that I got. And for fun, I'm gonna also drop in some pink, just like here and here. And then I'm gonna help it spread out just a little bit. And this is your jellyfish, so you don't have to follow what I'm doing exactly. You can do different colors. You can do, you can do a ton of different things, so don't feel like you have to do exactly what I'm doing. It's your painting, it's your life, you can do whatever you want. I keep on like messing with the shape of mine. Fine. No, it's great. Just leave it. Okay. 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 And then another thing that I like to do when I'm feeling a little, I don't know, risky or something okay. is you can, <laughs> is you can take just clean water or just whatever water is in your cup and just do a water droplet in the middle or like throughout and it's gonna push whatever color is there, push it out to the outside. You'll get some super cool textures that way too. You just gotta be careful doing that because if you do it too much, then you will get a puddle on your paper. So just be aware. Okay, that's it, that's step one. You guys are doing great. Now we are going to move to step two. We are going to do the oral arms. And uh, we went through that in our warm up, but 
we're just gonna do it in water first and then switch to our round two and do that kind of ribbony edge. Um, the one thing I kind of want you to keep in mind as you're doing these oral arms is I'm going to try and have this be like a circular composition. So you see how my arms kind of uh, curve yeah. a little bit? And that's because I want to have this motion. I want the viewer to look at this to where they're like following the shape and their eye stays on this painting. If I were to take my oral arms and paint them off the edge or give this direction, that would force the viewer who's ever looking at this, their eyes are gonna go off the page and we usually don't want that. We want, who's ever looking at your painting, you want them to stay interested in the painting. So we kind of give them some directional lines to stay in the composition. So when you add your oral arms, kind of think of that shape and also kind of give them a wave because they're in the water. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're painting these. Okay, so. I'm using my round six. I hit, I pick up water, I hit it off the cup, get rid of excess water. And you can make these arms as long or as short as you want. There's a ton of different kinds of jellyfish out there. So I think there are some that have super long, some that have short, I don't know. I think that's true. Yes, <laughs> they have little baby ones. I was somewhere, they had like ones you couldn't even see, but they'd still get you. Oh. I think it was somewhere. Hawaii. Oh, it was Hawaii. Of course. Yeah. Of course it was. Of course it was. <laughs> Hawaii, not all paradise. <laughs> okay. So I'm taking my paintbrush and I'm, I like to start at the bottom and then do like a wave to the top. And then I touched my bell here top. And so that color automatically bled out. I'm cool with that. I'm not mad about it. It it's going to do its thing. It's so fun to watch it do that. Because mm -hmm. you never know what it's going to end it's up doing. Okay, i got to so work pretty. quick here before my water dries. I moved to my two. I picked up paint. And I'm just going to do this ribbony edge along. And that's because these oral arms kind of look, they have that like curly ribbon feel. It's really cool. I love this already. Yes. And you can, and of course, you can make your little scalloped edge as thick or as tiny as you want. Totally up to you. It's your painting. Um, and then I'm actually going to, like, this is kind of thick. I like to have really narrow ends and then it, like, thickens as it goes. I don't know if this is actually technically true to how the oral arm is, but I'm just going to, like, finish it off with more of a point. And then, oh, sorry, I hit you. And then um, you can, while this is still wet, you can drop in some other color. Just if you want to help it spread, you can. And if you want to thicken yours up, this is a little thin. That's cool too. Or the nice thing about this wet on wet technique is you can just go in and make it a little bit thicker if you want to. I'm in love with this oral arm. <laughs> I'm in love with this oral arm. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna do probably about four 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 oral four four oral arms. And um so and uh, yes. I have a question. Yes. I kind of like limited my Base. If I went this way, would it would bleed out into It would. Okay. But that's okay. So Dre is saying, so this is a good question. Your oral arms at some point are going to overlap with another. And that's why I want us to stay within this color palette because okay. it doesn't really matter if they overlap because they're all going to be the same colors okay. really anyway. So for example, if I want a oral arm to go like this, I'm just going to just go across. Now, if you don't want the colors to bleed when you overlap, just lift up your paintbrush and don't let it touch the oral arm that's already existing and then the colors won't bleed. Mm. But I think it actually kind of gives it a cool yeah. effect, so I don't really mind. And this one, I'm gonna do kind of purpley and blue. And then I'm also going to drop in some pink on this one too. So let me do my little ribbony edge. And then I'm gonna grab some of this pink 
and just kind of drop it in and let it move, let it do its thing. And it's okay if, if these oral arms get like thicker and thinner because if you think of like, um, like a piece of ribbon and you take that ribbon, like a thick one, you guys know what I'm, yep. yeah. and then you kind of start to twist it, then there's gonna be areas where it's laying flat and then there's gonna be areas where it's on its side. So it's okay if some areas are thick and then it goes to thin because we have to envision that it's a three-dimensional form that's moving in the water. So you're gonna see different perspectives on it even in that same arm. So don't feel like it has to be the same thickness all the way through. Um, it can get thin and thick. Okay, I'm ready to do my another one. So I'm gonna kind of go this way using my six. And then I'm gonna grab my round two and some paint and do that scalped edge. So do you know where, like, I don't know how to say this question, but it makes sense in my head. Okay. Um, the person who lives the farthest away than viewing this, do you know where they live? Oh, oh, like different people viewing? Yeah. Like we, we have someone from Brazil. No Watching way. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Okay, so I've done three, and remember, you are going to decide as you're painting what's going to look good. Maybe you look at this and you're like, I actually feel really good about three arms. I don't feel like adding another, it wouldn't make sense. That's fine, I'm gonna do a fourth, because that's what I feel like I can do. But remember, you get to decide it's your painting, and I can't see exactly what you're doing. So this is where it's a little bit like, do whatever you want. Um, so I'm gonna do a fourth arm going this way. And I wanna make this one like thicker. And this one I'm gonna do a little bit more blue. I'm just gonna paint over where it's overlapping. And this arm is wet, so that blue is bleeding out, but that is okay. We, we kind of wanna see that. We wanna see these like accidental things take shape. And it, it's just fun. Like look at this texture that's happening right here. Like that is so cool. Whoa. Just right there. And let it, there's a really, like this is a big water space where there's not a lot of color, but I actually really like how that looks next to this. So I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna let that be. So don't feel like every single part of these arms has to be filled with color. Sometimes it's the lack of color that really like, you know, stands out. Oh yeah. That looks good. How are you doing, Trey? Oh, that looks so cool. I love it. Yes. <laughs> that turned out way better. It yeah. Of course, it's like a puddle. <laughs> and sometimes you have to let the watercolor dry before you can make. When it's wet, sometimes it's like, that's just a mess. But then when it dries, it kind of does its own thing like this right here. I wasn't expecting this kind of white line right here on the corner, um, but I love it. Super cool. It makes it look like it has actual, like it's sticking out of the page. Yeah, paper. yeah, like off the paper. Off the paper. Off the pa You got it, Keenan. You got it. Words better. <laughs> <laughs> swear. We speak good. We speak good. Uh, okay, so that's step two. Those are our, those are our our oral arms. Now we're gonna move on to our tentacles. Now I'm gonna try and keep my tentacles a really light value, and what that means is I'm gonna have more water than paint on my brush. Now you might think, oh, that means I have to pick up a ton of water on my brush. No, what that means is I'm gonna take water, I'm gonna grab a color, and I'm gonna mix water with it, and it will make it a lighter value or a lighter color. So on my brush, I'm gonna have the same amount as I would when I'm doing a darker value, it's just the mixture itself has more water in it than paint. 
And then I'm just gonna practice those like wavy lines like we did in our warm up. And I, I have mine kind of going across, so it's kind of waving throughout. And um, I'm gonna put these kind of on the side. And you'll see as you go, because you'll be painting and you'll be like, that area looks kind of bare. I'll put a tentacle there. So just kind of look at your painting and then decide where you want these things to go. Now the reason why I'm doing them light is sometimes if you do them really dark, they can be distracting. And we want these tentacles to be, one, we want them to have that kind of transparent quality, which is true for jellyfish. And we don't want them to be so distracting to the painting where it takes away from the really cool textures that we got on our body and our arms. I must say the tentacles are the hardest part so far. Yeah, the tentacles, they're tricky. You just have to like, but you just have to think of them as almost like they're not the main part of the show, but they're a complement to what's going on. And you can switch colors. I'm doing some in pink. I'm doing some more blue. Sometimes they're going to hit my bell body and the colors are going to bleed out. And that's OK. We think that's actually pretty cool. And then I'm going to do one kind of going across this middle here. So just do as many as you feel is right. And that might be stressful for you if you're new to watercolor or art in general. But you just have to keep in mind, this is just a piece of paper. It's just a piece of paper with paint. If you mess it up, it's not a big deal. Yeah, you're not getting graded. No, just like throw it away and do another one. You can't, just don't be intimidated by this because it's truly like nothing, you know? <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's just paper. Okay, that's my first jellyfish. I love it so much, so cool. Okay, so I'm going to just turn my whole paper over and do my next jellyfish. That makes more sense to me than trying to do it upside down. Mm -hmm. And this jellyfish, I'm gonna stick with more of a purple, pink, yellow palette. However, you can do whatever colors you like. If you really like that blue, purple combo, keep going with that. I've seen some jellyfish that are like the uh, green and blue, which you can do. You can mix your blue with this yellow and you can get a really cool green. So just play with it. Um, don't mix your purple and yellow together. You will get muddy colors because those are complementary colors. Okay, so we're gonna start back up kind of from the top, which is we're gonna start with our body. And I'm gonna kind of start it right here on this side. And I'm just gonna use water and I'm gonna do a shape. Now this shape, I'm gonna do more of a mushroom top shape. Like my haircut in third grade. <laughs> did oh, you have, did. isn't that like those bowl cuts? Yep. Yes. I think I had one of those too. Okay, you fill it in with water. Now the outside of mine, I'm gonna do purple for the outside. So while it's still wet, you're just gonna hit that edge with this purple. And it's just going to go and do its thing, and you are going to let it. And then I'm going to drop in some of this pink. Now, I do want to do a little bit of yellow, but I want to warn you before you put in the yellow. Like I said, if you mix the yellow and the purple together, it will turn a muddy brown color. So when I do my yellow, I'm just really going to drop it in near the pink. And I, but I do not want to take my paintbrush and work it across the entire thing because it will turn to mud. So you have to be careful working with these two colors. So, but I, I really liked the pop of the yellow in there. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just put it in there. You can try and mess with it a little bit. Like I'm going to put a little bit of pink right there. But for the most part, don't take your brush and just work it back and forth in, in, on the entire thing because it will get a kind of a brown, ugly color. But if you like brown, you can do that. Don't, there's sorry. There's probably some brown jellyfish. There's probably, yes, there's gotta be brown brownish. Brown isn't always ugly. Brown isn't always, sure. you're, you know what? I'm sorry, you're right. I shouldn't have chocolate. said chocolate. Chocolate is beautiful. <laughs> Steak is brown once it's cooked. That's true. Okay, 
And then I'm going to do a couple little water drops on mine because I just really love that look. And then I'm going to leave it. And as it dries, it's going to do its own thing and you are going to be okay with it. And it's going to be way cool. And now I'm going to move on to step two, which is the oral arms. And it's the same process. Um, the only thing I want you to keep in mind is the colors that I use. My arms are either going to be purple and pink or pink and yellow. I'm going to try and avoid purple and yellow arms. So, I'm going to just like start off, just go for it. Put in that water, grab some color. You okay, Keenan? I just love watching the <laughs> mix. It's so cool. I think yesterday I did a post of a wet yeah. and wet technique and it's so satisfying to watch. I think I probably made about 12 of those videos <laughs> and um, I just was watching them. I'll post more along as we go, but I figured it's good backup to save. But anyways, super cool. And every single time it was different. Like it just does its own thing. Dropping in a little bit of pink here. Uh, Keenan, Susan has an interesting fact for you. Thank you, Susan. She says that jellyfish have no brain, heart, bones, or eyes. What? I'm not sure if Susan is hinting at something about <laughs> me. I think she just says you. I think she's just saying that because you're the fun fact guy. I usually am. I, I apologize. Yeah. I didn't know they didn't Can have a spine. Yes. But she just yeah, blew Keenan, my mind. What are you even doing right now? Can you please look up fun looking facts at Brazil, for us? I was Brazil, actually. I was very curious. <laughs> it's very far away. Okay. So I did my first oral arm. I'm going to move on to my next one. Now, this one I'll probably pay more attention to where my arms intersect with each other. I'll probably lift my paintbrush and skip um, just to kind of avoid that yellow-purple thing happening a lot. So I'm just using, and right now your water does have a tint to it, so it will give your water a little bit of tint on your paper. It doesn't bother me, but if it does, just rinse out your cup, get a clean cup of water, you're good to go. So I'm gonna do another one. And this one I kind of avoided the purple. And I'll do this one in pink. I have a Man, that one's already you. dry. Okay, I'm excited for the fun Trying fact. Trying to get some redemption from Susan. <laughs> overshadowing me. Although the word is mentioned in their name, jellyfish are not fish. Okay? Okay. We knew this. Uh, a group of jellyfish is called a bloom, swarm, or smack. A group of jellyfish is called a bloom? Swarm or smack. I just bloom is so much better bloom than so swarm. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just pretending that wasn't even said. <laughs> That's so great. Okay, so with this strong pink arm, I'm going to put in some yellow in there. Fun fact, jellyfish are most commonly found on the ground. <laughs> that will never not be funny. Someone made it a meme. Did they what? Did they really? Yeah, Wait, Brock and I stumbled on it on the internet. I don't remember where he found it, but it just was a meme and a t-shirt. You have to screenshot that if you see that again and I'll send it to me. It. That's I don't amazing. I it was, though. Susan says, good job. Good Thank job, you, Kanan. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just keep on keeping on. And if you want to do, um, I'm just doing one side of my oral arms ribbony because I feel like if I did both sides, it would fill the arm up with a lot, a lot of color. And I kind of like having um, one side heavier than the other. But if you want to do both sides with that kind of ribbony edge, feel free to. Or maybe just do it with one and see how you like it. Drop in a little bit of pink here. I'm going to do one more. I'm 
And I'll have this one be more purpley pink. Oh dear, I lost, I can't see my arm, <laughs> I lost it. Oh no. <laughs> That's okay. Cheryl on the YouTube said that jellyfish are the main food source for sea turtles. What? Really? I didn't know they were I'm 100% trusting Cheryl, so I can't, I don't know yet. Cheryl, we're going to trust you and we're going to say that's true. Don't They're the that. main source for sea turtles. That's great. We're painting a sea turtle li later in the month. It's like the circle, the circle of, of life, life right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, Keenan? What's funny? I... I was going to Google, do sea turtles eat jellyfish, but Google suggested to Google, do sea turtles eat jellyfish and get high. <laughs> and get high? Yes. Do they? Do they? Because of the poison, maybe? All it tells me is that green sea turtles are mostly herb herb herbivores. 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 Herbivorousness. <laughs> adults. As adults. That's all it says. Okay. Um, I did my oral arms. I feel really good about them. So I'm going to move on to my tentacles. Uh, same thing. You want to kind of keep within the same color palette that you already have going on. So I'm going to do purples and pinks and yellows. Um, sometimes even if you want to, you can even just use water and not worry about picking up any paint and just make sure your tentacle runs through an oral arm and it will get color to it. So if I'm doing like a tentacle like this, it picked up color along the way and just added color to it. So that could be fun to try. Do one more. And I kind of have my tentacles, they're different lengths. Uh, we kind of want to mix it up in terms of how long they are. Oh, that's sad. What? They said that that's also why turtles consume so many plastic bags, because they look like jellyfish <gasps> in the water. That's so sad. That's sad. You guys don't litter. Bring your own you bags. Bring your own bags. Save the turtles. Save don't the litter turtles. Bags into the ocean. Yeah, don't do it. Okay, now I'm going to switch by painting right side up, but you can have it any orientation you want. You can mix it up. There's not, they're like the same thing. So don't feel like it has to be one direction or the other. And now we are going to do the last part, which is super fun, which is the splatters. So for my splatters, I'm going to use my round six and um, clear away anything you don't want paint on because it sometimes gets, <laughs> you're good, you're good. <laughs> Dre is like, what do I, what do I? Okay, so you're gonna pick up water and then you're gonna pick up paint. And I'm just going to splatter the same colors that we used here, that's what I'm gonna splatter with. I'm gonna start with some blue. Mind your phone. Mind my phone, okay, I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, so I'm picking up blue. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just hit my paintbrush off of my finger and it's gonna make the paint splatter, yes. So it's just like kind of going around. And if you want it super concentrated, you're gonna get closer to the page. So it's gonna be like, and you can see it kind of makes a line right there. Another thing that works really well is like a toothbrush. Um, you, if you have an old one, you just put it in the paint and then take your thumb across it and you'll get some good splatters. So I'm just gonna do this um, across the entire thing with all of the colors, but it's totally up to you how many you want to add. And if you want bigger splatters, you just leave more water in your brush. So if I just get my brush really wet and pick up, I'm going to get thicker splatters. Oh, I love this. I love this. It's <laughs> random. It's so random. Super fun. Uh, I'm going to do yellow now. Mine would eventually be just covered in splatters. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. You just turn, you just do so many layers. Where it's just... Where jellyfish go? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That would actually be pretty cool. And then last but not least, I'm going to do pink. You can leave out one of these colors if maybe you don't like them. 
Remember, it's your painting. You can make these decisions. It's okay. Now, and then I want some bigger ones because I like having variation in sizes. So to do that, I'm gonna get my brush. This is one of those instances where I'm not gonna hit it off the edge really. I'm gonna pick up water. I'm gonna grab a little bit of paint. Not a lot of paint because we don't want these splatters super dark. So remember, try and keep it more water. And then, sorry, I actually want blue. I changed my mind. So super wet and I'm just gonna like do almost like a stabbing motion. <laughs> There's got to be a better drop, way. Drop, a big dollop. <laughs> like, like a dollop. A dollop. Oh, yeah. a dollop. That's such a better word. That sounds delicious. I've literally been saying stabbing in all of the things. <laughs> Drea, where were you months ago? <laughs> you know and what I meant. <laughs> even if you want to use your water too, your water is pretty colored now that even just like that really light wash would be cool to have too. So just like really play with it. I'm going to do some purple. And if you wanted to have motion, try and like. <laughs> I feel like that's very Luna thing. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Oh. Oh, cool. I don't know how that happened. I love it. And I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Yeah, I mean, mine okay. Look like <laughs> Covered. Yeah, mine was Covered. 100% <laughs> okay, so that's it, you guys. Wow. That's our jellyfish. That was so easy and it looks like really good. This is such a fun project to do and it's a great way to kind of get to know how watercolor works and how it really just goes and it does the work for you. You just kind of like give it a little bit of guidance and then it like does its thing and you're like, look at this masterpiece look I created. That. Look at the yes. colors combined. That is so cool. Yes. Do we want to do the close up on the side? It's, can. Yeah, let's do the close up. Now, before I lift mine up, and this is for you guys at home, I have a puddle here on my paper. So if I lift my paper up, it will drip, which actually probably wouldn't be out of sync for what's going on here. But just to help it, I'm going to just suction up any excess water. If you're doing this at home and you have a puddle, you don't have to do this. You just wait for it to dry before you move it. So I'm just picking up this extra stuff here. So we're gonna lift ours up. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. Here is our jellyfish. Yeah, Wait, should we put them next to each other maybe? Sure. Okay. I mean, you're already gone. You're gone. <laughs> it looks great. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I can't see. I don't know if you're see, no, seeing you my face. Because I'm just like. <laughs> well done. Well done. They couldn't see you, though. They couldn't see me? No, you're done. Okay, that's good. I didn't get faces. I just okay. had close-ups. Okay, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for painting with us. This was like a super fun, quick tutorial. Um, I know some of you guys don't have your boxes. Again, I'm so, so sorry about that, but we really are on top of making those changes so where this won't happen anymore. So I appreciate you. If you do paint with us, please share it. I know it's so scary and a lot of times we think like, we just want to compare it and it's and it's vulnerable putting your artwork out there. It's uh -huh. so scary um, But I know you guys can do it be brave and when other people see that vulnerability and that courage It's contagious. They want to do it too And maybe they see that painting and they're just like I want to try that or maybe they see that painting and they're like I want to buy that from you which happens. It's so exciting. So put yourself out there um, if you do it on Instagram, tag us in it. Our Instagram name is Let's Go Make Art, or you can hashtag it, Let's Make Art. Facebook, you can do the same. And we have this really wonderful Facebook group called Let's Make Art Together. It's huge. We're at like over 7,000 people. What? It's huge now. It's massive. That's yeah, great. super supportive, encouraging community. So if you don't feel comfortable sharing it in your personal feed, you can request to be part of that group and share it on there. And um, it's just a really great uh, group where we celebrate 
where every stage is, even if you don't have to be a professional, you don't have to be doing this for years, but people just love seeing what you make. So do that. And um, next week, we're gonna go back to our regular schedule of doing our lives on Tuesday night. So I'll see you next Tuesday night. We're going to do the octopus. That tutorial has already been released. So you guys should be painting away with that guy. And I don't think there's anything else I really need to say. Stay warm. Stay warm. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for painting. Thanks, Drea. Yeah. Thanks, Keenan. You're welcome. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.